Um, all right, let's get started lying on our backs. Silent song has been started. <laughs> and as you uh, lay down, you've got permission to have this look however you need to. You can. I have two blocks. You may have something similar um, or way different. Pillows, books, uh, pets, maybe if they'll sit still long enough. Um, all are welcome. And as you lie down on your back, there's permission to make it look how you need. Arms and legs wide, knees bent in, bent out. Maybe you want like a little rocking or stretching, twisting to help you settle in a little more easily. And if your eyes are still open, let them look around you and just see what's happening. And it may be the same familiar ceiling, side walls, front walls. Just get a sense of your external container. This space that holds us while we practice. And then as you feel settled, allow your eyes to close or maybe they turn down softly. And then take your scan inward, noticing your inner landscape. Tune in to any sensations in your bones, muscles, tendons, skin. And permission to wiggle and relax a little more. Notice your breath. And in this moment, there's nothing to change or fix about our breathing. It is what it is. And our breath is nourishing us with oxygen, usually without our awareness, but also sometimes we can notice it. And take the same sort of peek into your thoughts. Noticing the mind stuff that swirls and whirls and scrolls quite often. And many times without our conscious awareness, but just for now, perhaps pause and notice the mind stuff. What thoughts are present and important? Which ones are circulating? Which ones are kind? And then come right back to your breath. Letting all your mind stuff do what it does. And you're welcome to place a hand on your heart and belly that helps you tune in. Allow yourself to find a pattern, a rhythm of breathing. And then allow yourself to contemplate or wonder, what if nothing was wrong? What if we approached this next 45-ish minutes together with that idea that everything is fine? And whatever's happening outside of this moment of practice is what it is, but for right now, we're considering and acting and pretending and showing up as if nothing was wrong. And if that feels too much, then maybe everything can just be neutral, be what it is. And keeping this breath and this awareness or contemplation, bend your knees, placing your feet flat to the floor. Point your kneecap straight up to the sky, toes down, palms down. A little light drumming of your fingertips and toe tips, solid ground beneath you. And then let's move. Inhale, stretch your fingers up towards the sky. Continue to reach and stretch until you touch the floor behind you. And then exhale, sweep your hands back up towards the ceiling and right back down to the ground. Two more just this way. Inhale. Perhaps breathing a little longer, stretching a little further behind you. Exhale. One more nice and smooth. And perhaps breathing a little bigger, stretching a little further. And out. Touch 
hug both knees into your chest, give them a little squeeze. And then take your hands to your kneecaps and just draw little circles in one direction towards the short end of your mat. And you can allow your whole body to kind of roll and move with you. And then switch directions, taking them the other way. Good. And then keep your right leg, release your left. And just hug your right knee in tight, letting your elbows drop heavy to the floor. You can take a little movement in your right foot or ankle, point and flex the toes, circles. And then switching sides, release your right, hug in your left. And your elbows and gravity are doing all the work here. Little movement, ankle, toes, foot. Curl everything in tight ball. This time lifting your shoulders off the mat. Hug nose towards knees. Nice and keep this little egg drop shape and just rock a little side to side. You may get stuck on one side and it's okay. But eventually rock enough to move to the other side. So then roll through one side. Come all the way up into tabletop and you may need to scoot a little back onto your mat and that's okay. And so once here, take a little time. Hands, feet, knees, just notice where you're touching the floor. And then from here, start to move in a way that is calling to you. And maybe it's a little cat and cow alternately dropping your belly, rounding through your spine. Maybe it's a little wagging of your tail. And maybe just for today, you close your eyes. And instead of seeing these shapes, you feel them. Knowing that whatever sensation is just fine. There's nothing wrong with you in any places of sensation, or tightness, or tension. Everything in your body is just as it needs to be. A few more rounds of breath. Use them to create a little balance and symmetry. Neutral tabletop. Breathe in, stay here. Breathe out, child's pose. Melt hips to heels, heart to floor. And then keep this moving. Inhale, draw yourself table. This time, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Stretch and lift through your hips. And keep this going. Inhale, table, drop to your knees. Exhale, child's pose. Melt on back. And continue through this three pose flow. Inhale, table. Exhale, when ready, downward facing dog. A few more rounds, following your own breath between shakes. Using these familiar shapes to simply observe. Knowing that everything is just as it needs to be. Next time you find yourself in child, linger here for a few moments. And maybe you bring your knees a little wider apart or rock your hips and heart down. And then you remain a little bit in movement or stillness. Just two more breaths. Downward facing dog, strong hands, long legs. And take a few moments of exploration here. Maybe it's a little bending of one knee than the other. Or maybe you start to shift your weight around, noticing the ways in which these shifts create sensations. Remembering what a gift it is to be alive and breathing in sensation, alive and awake, not numb or asleep. Take a moment and pause here. 
Just three breaths. forward fold. Bringing your hands and feet closer together. Let's come up in front, back, center of the mat. You're welcome to slide your hands to blocks or pillows or even ragdoll your arms, grabbing your opposite elbows. And keep softness in your knees as you let your belly and thighs connect to one another. Relax through your head, wiggle through your shoulders. Finding a little more ease here. release any binds, and then strengthen through your feet. And you can even use your hands, right? Like pressing into the outer blades and heels of your feet, maybe finding a little lift through your inner arch. Go ahead then press your ankles into the side walls. And then from here, grow stronger as you stand taller, sourcing strength from the floor up, rising up all the way up to standing. At the top, you can give yourself a little happy day dance, wiggle and shimmy your hips and heart as you walk or skip your way to the top of the mat. And stand here, giving yourself a high five in the center of your heart, standing just a little taller. Breathe in. Send it out. Two more, standing tall. Breathe in. And out. One more in. Now move with your breath. Inhale, stretch your arms to the sky. Option to look up towards your thumbs. Exhale, empty out. Fold forward like a waterfall of honey. Melt your belly to your thighs. Breathe in, take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. Strengthen through your feet. Source all the way up to standing tall. And keep these going, little half sunnies, folding forward as you exhale. Taking the halfway lift. Fold. Rise. Continue to move through these shapes at your own pace of breath. Traditionally, these movements are done when the sun is rising at the beginning of the day. And it's easy to remember the external sun. But today I invite you to remember your internal sun. So perhaps closing your eyes and tuning into your own sense of warmth, to your sense of energy and digestion. The part of you that wakes up daily and gets you going. A few more rounds of breath and movements, giving yourself a little opportunity to instill reverence and tradition to these practices. One more round. back to standing tall. Breathe in. Let it go. Next inhale, stretch up even taller. Option to look up. Exhale, fold forward, letting it go. Halfway lift. And send your right foot to the back of the mat, dropping on down to your right knee. And go ahead and untuck your toes, bringing the top of your foot down. Just take a little time here to move, low lunge, let's prop, and you can totally walk your hands and maybe even your blocks with you as you glide your hips. And pause in your low lunge. 
Press your hands into your front thigh. Peel your heart and head away. Nice now, wave your right hand. Say hello. And then bring the heel of your right hand to the right side of your back. So you can also bring a little fist if your wrist isn't too happy with you today, but gently guide your right hip forward. And then notice that this tension is creeped up into your shoulders and heart and relax and soften your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe big from right knee all the way up to right collarbone. Nice, now keep your hips low. Stretch your fingertips high to the sky. Drop your left hand down towards the ground. If you have a block, you can maybe meet it on the other side, bringing the floor closer to you. And then lean a little bit over to your left, thinking even longer through your right side. Nice, come back to center. Drop both hands down to the ground, floor or blocks. Tuck your back toes, stretch and lift your back knee off the mat. Good, now stay here for a bit, strolling left hip back, squeeze right quad forward. Good, now hug low thighs in, stretch a little longer through your spine, one more breath. And let it go, fold forward, right foot meets left top of your mat. Breathe in, take a halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, soften and fold. Inhale, press through your feet, rise to standing, stretch up, reach up, maybe even look up. And then keep this going, exhale, fold forward. Breathe in, take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, send your left foot to the back of the mat and slide it on down. Keep your right foot here as you drop the top of your foot down, hands to the floor or blocks. And then take that little movement, low lunge splits prep. Take a little gliding of your hips, maybe even walking of your hands and blocks. Pause in your low lunge. This time press hands into left thigh as you peel your heart away. Wave your left hand and bringing the heel of your hand or a gentle fist to the left side of your back. Soften and relax your shoulders, letting the tension drip down your spine. One more breath here. Nice, now stretch both arms up towards the sky, reach fingers away from the floor, and drop right hand down to the ground. Remember, you can bring a block to bring the floor to you. Have a really long torso and short little arm, so a block will almost always be necessary. Good, now stretch a little bit more through your left side. Release this, dropping hands to the floor or blocks. Tuck your left toe into the floor, lift your left knee off the ground. Good, now stay here, right hip back, left quad forward. Squeeze inner thighs towards center line. And then from here, stretch your head just a little more forward, link through your ribs. One more breath. Forward fold, top of your mat, left foot meets right. Breathe in, lift halfway. Exhale, soften and fold. Inhale, rise to standing, press through your feet, stretch up, reach up. This time, grab onto your left wrist. Root down through your toes and then stretch and lean all the way over to your right side. Standing half moon. Lengthen a little more through your left side. Option to look up. Nice and come right back to center. Give your hips and heart a little wiggle, jiggle, maybe little jazz hands. And then switch sides, stretching up. Grab onto your right wrist. Root down through your right foot and stretch and lean over to the left side, growing even longer through your right rib cage. One more breath in, lean. One more breath out, center. Wiggle and shimmy your hips and heart. Good, now grounding through your feet, inhale, stretch up, maybe stretching a little taller. Exhale, fold forward, empty and out. Take the half way lift. Good, and then bend your knees enough to plant your hands flat to the floor. So my knees get a lot of bend and my belly and ribs can come to, the, to my thighs. Good, now look at your hands and point your, point your fingers straight ahead. Spread thumb and pinky wide apart as you grip the floor with your fingers. Good, and your... Uh, Wrists, elbows, and shoulders may be in alignment here. Good, now bend your knees and then slide your right foot all the way back, and then slide your left foot back, high plank. Of course, you can drop your knees if that gives you more support. Take a moment here, breathe in, creating length from crown to heel, 
Breathe out, drawing low belly in. One more, inhale. Exhale. Everybody drop your knees to the floor. Drop your chest, drop your chin. Keep your hips lifted like a little inchworm. Elbows pull back like grasshopper legs. Take one more big breath here, inhale. Untuck your toes, straighten through your legs. Good, and then slide your hands forward into Sphinx Pose. Try elbows wide and slightly in front of your shoulders. Even try sliding your feet a little wider apart to give your low back more space. And then from here, pull your elbows back, but instead of moving your elbows, lift through your spine. Good, now drop your chin towards your chest. Row long through the back of your neck. And let's draw a little half circle. So move your chin over towards your left shoulder. And then drop your chin back down towards your heart. And over to your right. Do that again, chest, left shoulder. Drop it down, chest, right shoulder. Go ahead and then come back to center. Good, now lift your head back up. Good, now this time, look over your left. So it's a little different than the semicircle. Go ahead and come back to center and then look over to your right. Good, center, and roll on back down. Forehead to the backs of your hands, little rocking of your hips and heart. Slide your hands flat to the floor, tuck your toes, lift up, puppy. And drop your chin or forehead down to the ground, widen across your heart. One more breath in, and out. Downward facing dog. Press through your hands as you stretch and lift through your hips. You're going to take a moment here, breathing big. Inhale. All right, two more breaths and go ahead and look at your fingers, see if they're uh, still straight ahead. And then just take any adjustments, rotating the shoulders and heart just a little wider. Nice, y'all. Good. Now, stretch your right foot to the sky, three point. Put a little movement in your right foot, right ankle. Good, now look forward to your fingers and let's shift forward, drawing right knee to right elbow, leaning in, shoulders stack over wrists. Good, and then lift it straight back up, three point. Good, again, this time we're gonna plant the foot outside the hands and keep the back knee lifted. But you can go ahead, my left foot kind of slides back a little. And let's take a twist. Strengthen through the right hip, plant through the left hand, and stretch up through the right arm. Good. And just like before, right hip back, left hip forward, inner thighs towards center. From here, stretch back a little bit, maybe like a millimeter through your right side. Untwist. Spin your back heel down to the ground. Warrior two, building from the ground up. Cartwheel left arm up and open. And then notice if you're more likely to lean forward or back and see if it's possible Oops, to settle right here in the middle. And sometimes your feet slip. <laughs> Good. Now squeeze inner thighs, grip through your toes, and stretch through your fingertips. Let's take a little flow. Inhale, straight legged, peaceful warrior, strong back leg. Exhale, side angle, deep bend in your right knee, place through your right elbow, and try to stretch through your left side. Good, and do that again. Inhale, straight legged, peaceful warrior, perhaps slowing it down. Exhale, side angle. Good, and do this a few more times. And, and think more about your side bodies. But keeping your legs and feet grounded so your side bodies have a little space to flow. And pause next time you're in side angle. And really activate your back foot, pressing it into the floor, and then peel and turn your belly button a little higher to the sky, turning your gaze towards your left elbow. Warrior two, rise up. Revolve side angle. Cartwheel your left hand back down. Flex through your left foot. Stretch through your right arm. Good. Now send your back knee, left knee to the floor. Kickstand it a little towards the long edge of your mat. And then swing your right foot straight back. And maybe your right foot finds the floor, or maybe it stays lifted. Either way, check in with your left hand, point your finger straight ahead, then from here, push down, stretch up, lean back. Keep your hand, right hand and foot active. 
Good. Now keep this right foot lifted. Roll over, plant your left foot down, or lift it if you haven't. Press into your left foot. Lift your right foot three-point. Roll on up. Nice, y'all. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Inhale. Press through your hands. Stretch your left foot to the sky. Three point. Give yourself a little moment of movement here. Nice. And look forward to your hands. Point your finger straight ahead. Lean forward. Drawing left knee to left elbow. Stack shoulders over wrists. Three point. Stretch it up. Good, and curl it back in, left knee to left elbow, and this time plant your foot right outside your hands, lizard lunge. Start with the twist, plant through your right hand, stretch up through your left. Left hip draws back with strength, left arm leads back with purpose. Untwist, drop both hands down, warrior two, build from the ground up. Spin right heel down, strong right ankle, cartwheel arms and head up. Notice if you're leaning more forward or back, and then try and settle right here in the center. And then we flow, inhale, straight-legged, peaceful warrior. Exhale, side angle, bend, stretch and straighten to the right. Keep this going, inhale, straight-legged, peaceful warrior. Exhale, side angle. And continue a few more rounds. And from the strength in your legs, you have a little more access to lengthen and wave through your side bodies. And this is kind of like those big inflatable people with their wild arms, right? But like way more controlled, right? Good. One more round. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, bend and settle. Strong right foot. Create a little lift through your right inner arch as you stretch your right arm over your ear. And then from here, hug belly to spine, peel heart and belly up. Turn your eyes up towards your right elbow. One more breath in. Breath out. Warrior two, rise up. Revolve side angle. Spin from your right heel. Press your right hands to the floor. Stretch left arm to the sky. Mod or side plank with the leg down. So send your right knee to the floor, right foot back. Swing your left foot straight back. Remember, left foot can find the ground or lift. And do a little right hand check, turning right pointer finger straight ahead. Grip through your fingers, stretch through your left hand, left foot. Good. Now, if your left foot was down, lift it up. I'm going to roll back over to the left hand, tuck the right toes. Push through your fingers, three-point left side. Stretch through your hips. Lift through your toes. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Let it go. Two more. In. Last breath. Good. Look forward to your fingers. Shift forward, high plank. But now we'll find side plank. So option to drop your left knee down first or roll over to your left foot as you stack your right foot. Either way, check in with your left hand, point your finger straight ahead, press through your fingers and lift up a little higher. Good, option to lift your right foot wherever you are, taking up lots of space here. Nice, y'all. Go ahead and roll on over, high plank. Drop your knees, chest, chin to the floor. Keep your hips lifted like a little inchworm. Untuck your toes, straighten through your legs. Cobra, press through your feet, stretch through your heart. Nice, roll on back down. Tuck your toes, puppy, seat to heels, heart to floor. Downward facing dog. Good, again, look forward, shift forward, high plank. Coming to the other side, you can drop your right knee first, or simply roll over and flex through both feet. Look and check with your right hand, press through your fingertips, stretch and lift up through your left. Everybody try lifting your top foot off the floor, taking up all the space you can. Roll on over, high plank. Drop knees, chest, 
chin to the floor, cobra, or I got ahead of myself, cobra, straighten through the legs, press through your feet, stretch up, load and roll on back down. Scoot your body all the way to the left, extend your right arm to the right, and look at your thumb, get it in line with your nose, and then roll on over for a shoulder stretch. Option to pull your knees more in towards your chest, like fetal position. Keep your head and neck lifted, just two more breaths. And slowly roll out. And hands to the floor, a little shimmy and shaking of your hearts. And then switch sides, scooch over to your right. Extend through your left, left thumb in line with nose or eyes. Press through your right hand, roll on over. Again, knees can come into your chest. Keep your head and neck lifted. Continue to strengthen and support your own spine. One more breath. Rolling on over. A little shimmy and shake coming back to center. Nice, now tuck your toes into the floor and slide your hands under your shoulders. Elbows point back like grasshopper legs. Press into your toes, lift your knees off the mat. Walk your feet a little closer, hug belly towards spine, lift your hips and thighs off the mat. Squeeze your toes a little closer, breathe in, push through your fingers, breathe out, push up high plank, downward facing dog. Nice, y'all, breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Look forward to your hands. Come forward. High plank. And lower all the way to the ground. No tricks. And just let one ear rest. You can always use an arm as a pillow. Switch ears. And then nice and easy, flip over onto your back, just like a little pancake. Roll on over. And then again, hug your knees into your chest. Hands to the kneecaps, draw little circles towards the short end of your mat. Switch directions. And then plant your feet flat to the floor and your palms flat to the ground. And so this isn't bridge pose, it's way less. So these are little pelvic tilts. So all it is is a little lifting of your pubic bone up towards your chin, and then a rolling it back down, a little tucking of your tailbone and like a little arching banana in your spine. And just keep going, roll it down, tilt and lift your pelvis up. Lower your pelvis, press through the sitting bones, little banana back. We're just take that a few more rounds. And you're using your feet and the strength in your ankles as you're lifting. One more round. Walk your feet as wide as your mat, drop your knees towards center. And swing your arms out wide like a T and then give yourself a big bear hug. Constructive rest position. Take a few big breaths here. Coming back to our contemplation and query, what if I pretended and acted and proceeded like nothing was wrong? Not discounting or bypassing the real life stuff that's happening for each of us. But what if we were able to show up for this world, this life, as if everything was working out in our favor? Releasing the struggle. And go ahead and switch your arms. You're going to be opposite arm on top, letting your hands drop heavy to the floor, breathing into the backs of your ribs. Release your arms. Happy baby. 
Flex your feet to the sky. You reach your hands for your knees, but maybe your ankles or outside blades of your feet are a little easier to grab. And start with a few little rocks from side to side if that feels good. And consider pausing and center. A little extra flexion of the feet towards the sky. A little more hugging in of the knees towards the armpits. And then you breathe. Nice, easy, soft breaths here and now. And taking yourself into a twist, drop both knees over to your left. And anchor down and twist to your right. And try breathing deep into your belly. Right, acknowledging, yes, I am a little twisted maybe a lot twisted, but I can still nourish myself and breathe big as if everything were fine. Not being bothered by circumstance, but choosing to pause and breathe. Letting your nervous system know that all is well. Mind twist, cleansing breath in, and twist in the opposite direction, knees right, open up and look left. Mind twist. Breathe in. And then get yourself back upside down. This can be another happy baby. Maybe you prefer a shoulder stand or hips on a block. You can also utilize a couch or wall space to effort even less and receive even more. Continuing to breathe fully with your world temporarily flipped upside down. Acknowledging this moment and choosing to breathe just as big. Taking three more breaths in the way that you need them the most. And settling on and out, rolling down. And allowing yourself to fall into a position that just makes sense. Shiva, our first yoga teacher, is said to have taught 82,000 shapes. I don't know them all. <laughs> so maybe you find one of those in-between shapes that have a known name that just feels really good. and allowing yourself to complete your practice. As if nothing was wrong and everything was right. Finish your practice in the most perfect way. Maybe a stretch, another twist, curl in. Maybe you're craving a longer rest. And then we'll move towards that shape that we can rest in comfortably for the next few moments. And maybe it's lying on our back like we started. Maybe it's curling into a little ball on our side, or maybe it's even rolling over onto our belly. It's a permission to take up all the space in the most restful, supported way. And simply trusting and knowing that you are enough, and that you've done more than enough. And this deep, deep rest is your birthright. Shavasana. Rest and receive.
breathe in. Breathe out. Feel into the heaviness and denseness of your body, just noticing how supported you are from the inside out. Also feeling into the ground and that earth beneath you. Knowing how supported you were while you rested. And bring this contemplation back in. What if nothing was wrong? How would you show up? How do you sound? How do you feel? I can remember times in my life when everything was wrong, but somehow I was still fine. And I can also remember times in my life when everything was wrong and I was not fine. Lean towards the resilience towards the inner and outer strength, moving towards fortitude to keep going. Remembering that we're not always in charge of what happens, but we can often be in charge of how and if we respond. Perhaps just for this week, just for this day, we try on acting like everything is working out just as it should be. I'm starting to breathe a little bigger. Inviting more movements and air and possibility into the space. A little wiggling of fingertips and toe tips. Maybe some rotations of your wrists and ankles. Maybe a full body stretch. And in your own way in time, slowly come up into a seated shape. Just taking notice of how you feel, body, breath, mind, spirit. Allowing your hands to naturally come to touch at your heart, whether sitting or still lying down, same difference. Breathe in. And out. We'll end this time together with one home. You can home along, join me, or listen. Breathe in. Feeling up on knuckles with the sound, the space between our eyebrows. Dip your chin towards your chest, ending with reverence and gratitude, first for ourselves, also for one another. And finally, to our long lineage of teachers spanning back thousands and thousands of years to the subcontinent of India that have made these practices available for us today. Thank you all so much for showing up and flowing with me. It's been my honor to guide you. Thank you, friends. Go enjoy your day. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. See you soon. Thanks, y'all. Bye.